Hey everyone, my name is Brian, and in this video we're going to take a look at building Node APIs without Express. What? That can't be. Seriously? Yes, seriously. We're going to build APIs without Express in Node. Let's get started. Let's start by taking a look at what we'll be building. We're going to start with a couple simple APIs. Our first API will be um, to serve just a, a hi there type statement. The second uh, profile API will serve back HTML. And the final shipment API will return back a JSON response. So these are all the types of responses that we would expect from any other API that we might build with Express. But I'm going to show you how we do it in Node. So the first thing I like to do is always run a Docker environment for my development environment. And I'll just use the Node um, Docker image and pass in my current working directory and use port 5000. Once we're in our Docker environment, we'll run npm init passing dash y to create a package JSON file for us. Finally, we'll create an app.js file, and this will be where our server lives. So the first thing that we need to pull in from Node is the HTTP module. Now this is native to Node and has been for a very long time. Once we have that available, we can do things like define uh, the port that we'll use. So we'll use port 5000. And I like to allow someone to also pass in a um, an environment variable for a port as well. So to create our server, we just use the HTTP module and then call the create server method, passing in our request and our response. And this is where we can serve our information. So to start out, let's just do res.write head. And this is where we can set any headers for our response. So we'll say on um, a response of a 200, we'll pass the content type of um, HTML. Now we can send our actual content for the response and we'll use res.write and here we can pass in whatever. So we'll just pass in Hey there, something simple. And finally, we need to end the response. So we call res.end. And this will complete our um, response. Now we need to call the dot listen method. That's also part of HTTP module. Uh, we pass in our port variable. And we can uh, just do a quick console log to say that our server is running on our defined port. So this is going to look very similar to how we might create a simple API using Express, but again, we don't have the Express dependency here. So now if we jump down into our terminal, we should be able to run node app.js and right away there's our server. So if we go over to our browser, uh, just to our main default route, we can see our hey there message is being sent back. Perfect. If we want to convert that into HTML really quickly, we can just pass in an HTML element or the H1. We need to restart our server, hop back over into our browser and refresh, and there we can see our H1 being served back. Perfect. Now that's pretty handy and it's really nice to not have to pull in a third party dependency, but what if I have uh, a need for actual routes? Let's go ahead and add those next. So we manage routes with a simple if statement. So we're going to say if URL is equal to, say, slash profile will be the first one that we look at. And URL is a value that's passed in as part of the request object. So we just do request.url. And that will give us access to the URL parameter. Now, if we see, receive a request to, let's say, slash profile, we can do a res.write 
And here we'll pass back HTML. So again, just an H1 that says, welcome to uh, your profile. So something simple. Again, we could serve an HTML file. We could do all sorts of things here. And with HTTP, um, the module, we always want to uh, end the response. And so if it's not the profile uh, endpoint that is being requested, in our else block, we'll just uh, pass in, hey there. So this will kind of catch any other um, routes that might be passed. So if we retry, we can see that our uh, original route still works. And if we go over to profile, now we can see that profile works as well. Perfect. So now we have a couple different routes serving different types of information. Now let's try something a slightly different and we're gonna create an else if block and another route. And this other route will be a shipment route. So we'll say if URL equals uh, slash shipment, and here, I want to return back a JSON payload. Uh, again, this is something pretty common that we might use uh, a library like Express for, but we want to send back JSON. So in here, let's go ahead and define a payload that we'll send back, and this is just going to be dummy data for us now. Uh, so we'll just create a simple object with an address property and then that address property is actually another object. And we'll just say something like street, uh, one, two, three, uh, amazing street. And that's in the city. Of fun city. I'm just making these things up. All right, so that's our payload. Um, so now, because we're sending back JSON, we want to make sure that we're sending back the appropriate header for our content type. So again, we'll use res.writehead for a response of 200, set our content type, and here we're gonna set it uh, equal to application slash JSON. And then res.write, uh, and we need to stringify our JSON response. So we'll just use json.stringify, passing in the payload, and then finally res.in to complete our response. So if we go back down to our terminal and stop and restart our server, now if we refresh, profile still works. Now if we go to our new endpoint called shipment, we can see that we're receiving JSON back. Perfect. If we go over to Postman, we can take a look at the same exact requests uh, where we're seeing HTML being sent back and JSON as well. So this is creating a simple uh, API endpoint uh, using Node without Express as a dependency. Thanks for watching and please join me again next time.